Well, good morning. A little different view. I figured I'd show you what we see when we're coming to the lock. Nargo found a ship, but we're going to be a little late. You can see them there behind those trees. And as I keep going, you get like occasional little peaks. There they are back there between the trees. And Argo saw a squirrel, so now he's focused on that. <laughs> so I have no idea which ship this is. Um, so I figured I would just record this. Eh, you know how I am. Something a little different. <laughs> And then, oh, it's an Algoma ship. We know that. Got a logo on the side. Okay, so sometimes when I'm here and Argo's pulling on me, I'll see the ship if they're in the lock. Usually if they're downbound. If they're upbound, it can be hard to tell, <laughs> depending where they are in the, you know, being lifted or lowered in the lock. Let's see. Where are you going, dog? This old building here, I'm not sure. It had a note on it saying, by the city of Sault Ste. Marie, you can't, uh, oh, I can't remember the wording. Basically, don't go in there. <laughs> Almost like it's not safe. Still don't know who this is. I don't see a name on the side at all. Duffy and Algoma ship. Lovely morning here in Sault Ste. Marie. Today is the 16th. So yesterday was tax day here in the US. And I have several clients that are accountants. So tomorrow begins their <laughs> vacation after a very busy tax season. Oh, see, and now the name is hidden behind the tree. <laughs> and we're like the perfect speed. Can you believe that? Oh, is that the Algoma Equinox? That is the Algoma Equinox. Okay. <laughs> Mystery solved there, dog. Mystery solved. So I'll get up here a little bit further. Yeah, that is definitely them. Ooh, I should have brought my sunglasses. That sun is at full power. Definitely. Okay. Ooh. There she is, the Algoma Equinox. Chased her down. <laughs> She's not wasting any time getting out of here, of course. And I hear the lock gate's closing, so that makes me wonder. What do we have this way? see anyone so random little because I'm a nerd you see that little splotch flopping around there as I'm shaking so that is actually you know light from the Sun of course hitting the sensor being reflected back on the inside the I guess yeah the inside of the the lens and then being bounced back to the sensor again and you'll see there's a couple, a couple of them. It's because there's a couple different layers, so. 
So really the only way to get around that is to point it straight at the sun. But then if I do that, then you can't really see what I'm wanting to point at. So anyway, there's my little nerdy explanation for the day. Yep, should have brought my sunglasses. But here we'll get one last parting shot of the Algome Equinox. And we'll be on our way. Safe travels. See you in a couple days. Don't know where you're going. But uh, one, one thing about living here, you can be pretty confident that they'll be back here <laughs> inside of a week. So unless something really weird happens. All right, dog, you ready? All right. And this is where you see I wish I had my sunglasses. I'm all squinty. But that's going to do it for uh, this Tuesday. So have a good day. Argo and I, this of course, right there. You can see it's cold enough to see my breath. It's like 32 degrees. Stay warm. <laughs> we will return. Bye.